keep boy. Meaning of what, Father? Running about all over the place, charging into me. Oh, I wasn't charging, Father. I was just coming into the house, same as other folk. Just wasn't looking just where I was standing. Can't look always at once. Only got eyes in the front of the head and Be quiet! What's that on your tongue? Stick out your tongue! <laughs> oh. The shade of your tongue, William Brown, could shame Spring's precious tints. Oh, and they're not tints, Father. They're just a few sweets that I got with the pocket money that you so kindly gave me. And Be quiet! Right. Have you got any of the foul things? But they're not foul things, Father. They're good. They're just a few sweets that I got with the pocket money that you so kindly gave me. And Be quiet! Have you got any more left? Oh, would you like one, Father? Thank you! If I catch you eating any more of these foul confectionaries, my son, your life will suddenly become suddenly more difficult. Well, seeing as you've taken away my sweets, can I have my pocket money back? As I see, it's only fair, so I can buy something else. I've had enough of your eloquence, will you? I've had enough of your rudeness. Your lack of hygiene, your abhorrent table manners, your despicable appearance, your... I have decided that next term you are to go straight to boarding school. Boarding school? Why are you sending me to a boarding school? There's no point. Running, some cold showers, and millions and millions of lessons. Oh, you don't want me to do millions and millions of lessons, do you? You get no breaks from them. I bet if they heard about boarding schools in Parliament, well, hmm, there'd be an inquest about it. Besides, oh, I'd only get ill from overworking and get brain fever, same as they do with books. And then you'd have to pay for doctor's bills and perhaps, oh, perhaps, Oh, perhaps you'd have to pay for my funeral too. I don't see how anyone can go on learning for years and years and not get brain fever and die of it. Anyone would think you wanted me to die. And if I did, should be surprised if the judge did something to you about it. I'm quite willing to risk it. Where's my bow and arrow? That implement has now been discarded for the same fate as under the insultatory hardware of incandescent. He needs to throw Snap them and throw them away. After the incident involving you and the vicarage window this morning, I don't think they're ever likely to be safely in your hands. Now, get ready for tea. Oh, but it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Dead for my family cares about me. If it wasn't for grown ups, then life would be fair. If it wasn't for grown ups, then I could declare fit for out of doors everywhere. Imagine if, if it wasn't for grown ups. If it wasn't for grown ups, then life would be fine. If it wasn't for grown ups, I could stay up till nine. Find his bow and arrows and, 
and snap them in half. He said he sent me to boarding school. Boarding school? I can't go to boarding school. I'm William Brown, the leader. And the best one there is. We well, can't exactly lead you into a battle with no bow and arrow. We cannot. Uh, Hubert Lane's got a new bow and arrow from Pallets. Hubert Lane? You mean old fat face? We'll show him. We'll find a way of making money. We always do. William! You still here? Yeah. I want to play Red Injun. We can't! I don't have my bow and arrow.